Well, this is a tutorial for the 3D menu creator tools for uh, Unity 3D. When you import the 3D menu creator package, you will see that it's uh, available a new menu component in the main menu of the 3D, uh, Unity 3D. When you click it, you will see that there are two options, the Add Keyboard Capture Control and the Add 3D Menu. We are going to start with Add Keyboard Capture Control, so we are going to click it. When you click it, you will see that the new game object appears and it's called Input Control Number 7. This number is a sequential number, so the system uh, saves the current number and the next time that you create a new input control it will be for example the 8 so that's what it does okay right now this control has the following uh, parameters it has the position of sh offset and it it has the default word displayed the font type the font style the font size, the letter spacing, font color, display the cursor, new material and font material. Okay, we are going to start with the position offset. The position offset is just the, an, an offset from where the word will be starting to, to display uh, from the current position of the main uh, object of this control that is the input control number 7. So, for example, if we put in the x-axis and the value of 1, it will be starting to display at one unit from uh, the x-axis of the main object. So, it will be starting to write more or less over here. So, we are going to make a test. We are going to type player. And when we go to to the to the scene view we could see that the input control is over here and it is start writing um, a one unit in the x axis axis from the main object so that is the purpose of position offset so also, you could you could use the default word display. For example, it is used when you want to display a word when the co the control is in play mode instantly. So the end user have to erase it to, for example, write his name or 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 the player name okay so for example if we make play with this value player number one you could see that it is also displayed from the beginning and the end user can erase it and for example put his name in over here so that is what it is for and um, also we have we have the font type right now it's only available the aerial font type so we are not going to use it right now we have also the font style which has the normal bold italic bold italic font types we are going to change it to bold and let's click it play as you can see the font style has changed we, you could do it in play mode too we are going to change it to italic and now we are going to write something you could see that the new fonts are now in italic you could also change it to bold italic and as you could see it changes too there is also the font size if you use values greater than one the font will be bigger if you put a value less than one if the font will be smaller so we are going to change it to number two when we write now as you could see the fonts are bigger if we change this value to 0.5 now now the fonts are smaller 
So that is the purpose of this option. There is also the letter spacing. It will change the space between each font. So for example, if we put in over here 0.5, now the letters has a 0.5 Space between each each letter or each font. You could also set the y-axis, so the letters will be something like this one in over here, the next over here, etc., etc. So let's put it 0.5 value. And if you write something, you could see the word it's going down, and you can also change the theme axis value so if we put it in number two you could see that the letters are going back if we change to the scene view you could see that the words are going back so that's the purpose of these values over here you could also change the font color as you can see let's put back this to zero zero and point one so that's what this does okay the next thing is that you could assign a material for this font so for example I could click on non a material you could access anything you want to to set any value you want to set on the material you have to double click and the material will appear and you can could change down the for example the shader and assign a texture if you want for example and then if you return to your control you could change over here the font color and when you click play you could see if you go to the scene view that the material that is assigned to these fonts or, or the word player one is the same that you assign it in the editor or in this in this in the inspector okay so that's how it works you could also click on over here and it will create a new material with the name of the control if you double click it you could also change any of the settings of the material and its shader so that is what it is for so thank you for listening to this tutorial